Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. Today is going to be a random normal character run for win number one in episode number 324. I think I might have said 22 yesterday, but it's supposed to be 24 today, so we just missed 23 somewhere along the line there. The win streak counter is back at zero. I hit random earlier today, like about five seconds ago, and it gave me Steven twice in a row. We just played as Steven, so I thought I was going to restart the episode. I'd rather not do the same exact character over and over and over again. But anyways, your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below. Uh, how many uh, school dances have you gone to? Seed, by the way, is going to be H R H. I can't talk. I'm sorry. H S R M C zero S Y. I can finally start. I literally hit random like six different times, and it gave me Steven, Exorcist, and Steven. But we've played a lot of both those characters in the last week, so I I'd rather just like not deal with that right now. Chili Bean creates a fart that damages enemies. I mean, we have nothing else right now, so sure. But anyways. We can finally calm down and not be talking constantly. Uh, for my answer for today's question of the day, school dances to me are a very weird thing. Because I feel like with time, as I got older throughout like from 6th grade all the way up to senior year, I enjoyed them less and less every single year. And they weren't like ever, well, they were bad at certain points, but like they weren't ever like, I wish I was rather, you know, home right now. Because you always find some kind of fun. Um, at events like that and to be frank with you like I'm, I'm not a very social person despite me broadcasting my entire life online day to day I'm a very like a very private individual um, and I, I like being you know alone and not in the you know uh, like what's the word company of others constantly uh, and it, it does it is my fault because like I've created a life for myself doing YouTube and doing stuff at home that like I don't have a need to leave my house and be outside of my comfort zone which is a really bad cycle I think to be in for me to like enjoy being like not social but also have no reason to get over that and be social and I was kind of like that in high school too where um because where I lived was like 15 minutes away from the rest of my town I was very like it, it was tucked away in a small little corner uh, of my, my, like, county. And I liked that, though, because, again, like, it was quiet. It was, like, peaceful. And uh, I had a lot of excuses to not, like, have to go out. A friend was like, hey, do you want to go to, like, uh, this restaurant? I'd be like, eh, hey, well, I'm kind of far away right now, and I don't really feel like driving, so I'm going to pass on that. It gave me good excuses in that regard, but uh, it may have been for the worse. Uh, however, it was always really fun to me. Um, I had like a, I had a close circle of friends. I had like uh, another active item. It does give me range though, which um, is really important for like boss fights. I had a very close group of friends that was like at top of my head like maybe like nine of us. Like there was L Dog, there was Merm, like a bunch of my high school friends. And whenever they wanted to go out and do something, I was game every single time. Uh, and a lot of the time, though, the funny thing is, we'd end up, like, going to my house instead because I had, like, the lake near my house, I had a really big backyard, um, I had, you know, my own room with a d couple of monitors upstairs, it was a really good place to hang out, I had a huge basement as well because, you know, Midwest houses always have really big basements, but mine was always, like, clean and a really good flat screen down there, so, you know, it was, like, it was, it was the place to be to hang out, uh, and... A lot of the time we'd plan to, you know, go to school events together, whether it be prom or like homecoming or snowball dance. We'd always be like, hey, we should go as a group. We should do this together, you know, go out as friends beforehand, things like that. Uh, and we did that quite a lot. I would say that like out of the entire friend group, that was really dumb. The person that I would do the most like free event stuff with was probably like a combination of TG, Alex and Merm. Uh, all four player, the original four player file, uh, squad, by the way, because that was like the people who I had known the longest and like gotten along with and had the most in common with. Okay. So we see dark princess crown and we see, um, sanguine bond. These are both really good. If I had to choose one though, dark princess crown is really, really good, especially being a devil deal character with the, like the option to give up HP to get back to that one red heart. So I'm going to take this for now and we'll hopefully get red hearts in the future to help kind of augment that item there. Um, 
But there were a couple moments in high school where uh, me and one of my friends, Lucas, who... I don't want to, like, be rude or, like, be egotistical. Uh, and I'm not trying to be, because all my friends, we have this, like, we agree on this, like, statement here. Um, but a lot of us were, like, we weren't socially awkward. Like, we all were part of, like, different cliques, and we were all very, like, renowned. Not renowned, but, like, we were all very, like, we were around. We had, we had connections in every kind of, like, friend group in school. With me through track with, like, the more athletic kids and things like that. And Merm with band and, like, play and stuff like this. We, 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 we had, like connections in almost every kind of click in the school so like we weren't socially inept but uh definitely when it came to like getting a partner for a dance or for like prom or homecoming um me and my friend lucas had the highest chances because we were more athletic and we were more just kind of like out outgoing is the word definitely outgoing uh, we were more able to be social because we we liked being social and though i just said i didn't like being social earlier in high school like that was more i liked having excuses to not be social but i was able to be really social when needed to clear that up i guess for my past contradiction uh and there were a couple of instances where like as a group we were like we want to go to this homecoming dance as like a bunch of friends just hanging out where like me or lucas would find a date and we'd kind of like split from the pack and then that would be it uh but I, we always knew, as a group, we could always go back to, like, hang out with the boys. It was a very nice, like, situation to find yourself in um, with these dances and stuff. And I, I think the only time I went to a dance with without a date, like, intentionally, uh, was my senior year snowball and my sophomore year homecoming. That sounds about right to me. So let me let's like set the freaking stage for you here. We're gonna go back in time to sixth grade. Uh, at our we had middle school dances, believe it or not. They weren't like you know, you get your your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever and go hang out. Oh, an eraser card. That's actually kind of sick. Is there a good? Not really any enemies to erase in here, huh? Um, we had middle school dances. We had like. It wasn't a date dance, it was more of like a, you can go and hang out with your friends for a couple hours at like 8pm. That was kind of the vibe those were giving off. And in our in our dances, uh, in 8th grade, we had both the gym and like the, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a cafeteria. It wasn't really a cafeteria, it was more of just like an open hub for the school. Um, and they were very close to each other, they were like one door away. And so what they'd do at this dance is they'd have the gym to be like pretty much like open basketball. Uh, you can go in there and shoot some hoops, you can play some other kind of like sports in there, and then you'd have the the hub area more for um, like dancing to music and getting like, like snacks and concessions and things like that. Uh, and you could obviously go between these as much as you pleased uh, within, no, no enemies in there to erase. I, why did it throw? I forgot chaos cards are like the weirdest thing in the game. They should really change those to like throw like every other thing in Isaac does. Like why is it thrown directionally? They even changed um, rocket in a jar, but didn't change chaos card yet. It would make much more sense for it be to be the other way around. That is really good. Uh, give me all the money and it turned into a sack. I didn't even know that could happen. Uh, we just lost two luck for like a couple of keys and bombs. <laughs> Definitely uh, not worth it in my eyes. Merged card. Judgment plus the stars. I'm going to say did not activate the stars effect at all. I think a modded card might have interfered with, inter interfered, interfered with that. What's in this curse room? Okay, we get another sack. We're getting a lot of sacks right now. Thank you, sack boy. And we get a chest. What chest? A vert pill for a luck down pill. Might have been the greatest cursed room to ever exist. I'm going to say it out right there. Uh, grab your card and then you can keep moving on down here. Uh, but in these dances, what I would do... Like, I, I had a girlfriend in 7th grade. Um, it lasted for like 6 months. It wasn't obviously serious. It was motherfucking 7th grade. Uh, and I went to a dance with her. Because uh, there they were like... It wasn't just like twice a year. It was like once a month. So there, there were a lot of these middle school dances, and I think I went to mostly, once I hit 7th grade, I went to mostly every single one. I feel like 6th graders weren't allowed there. It might have just been 7th and 8th and up, 
or well, at our school it was just seven and eight. It might have just been seven and eight uh, because I don't remember there being like six graders at the dances, but I could be wrong there. Maybe one of my, my hometown friends can correct me in the comments, but um, the first dance I went to was with my seventh grade girlfriend. I had my first kiss there also, that same exact dance, very monumental moment for me, uh, sitting on the windowsill in the back of a sweaty cafeteria with a bunch of like 13 year olds, but uh, it was it, honestly, I rarely ever think about that moment, but it, it, I think of it and I'm like, man, what a bad place to have your first kiss. A middle school dance. Like, I, I'm of the opinion that, like, stuff like your first kiss or whatever doesn't have to mean anything. It shouldn't mean anything. It's just, like, as you do it more, it becomes less meaningful, I guess, as time goes on. Uh, but just thinking, like, that was a middle school dance, like, really? It just, it's just funny to me, I guess. But, again, like, I digress. Uh, ooh. Book of Despair 4.5 volt sounds like a recipe to break the tier cap with Dark Prince's crown as well. We're going to see some some hefty tier rates this run. But I had a lot of fun at that first dance. The, the problem I think became that like I, I was torn between two worlds back in middle school. Um, because my girlfriend August, she was like really edgy and goth and all that. And I, I, I thought it was really cool. Uh, but my friend group was like really athletic and like uh, edgy in a different way. Whereas like my girlfriend was edgy in like a black veil brides kind of way. My friends in middle school were edgy and myself in like a leafy is here kind of way. So it, it didn't really merge uh, or like connect very well. So I was I had to kind of help balance those like the two wolves inside of me. <laughs> if that makes any sense, you have two wolves inside of you. Uh, but it was hard to do that because like they were just different vibes entirely and I'd always look like through the doorway to the gym at my friends playing like Foursquare and be like man I really kind of wish I was there right now like that sounds like so much more fun than sitting on the windowsill complaining about pop music all dance uh, and eventually when me and her broke up in like early eighth grade and the dances started picking up again like midway through the year uh, I was having like a blast and here's the thing, is like, we had a couple of unique activities at these dances. It wasn't just your standard basketball and soccer and shit. Uh, we had this game that I'm sure a, a few of you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, it was called Nine Square. Uh, it was a lot like Four Square, obviously, hence the name. But it wasn't played on the ground, it was played, like, in the air. Uh, where, like, you'd have, like, a grid of, like, nine squares on PVC pipes. And it was, like, mini volleyball. And uh, we were actually pretty good at this game. I think I talked about Recess a while ago. I'm so bad uh, on the streak. But uh, me and my friends were known for being, like, really fucking good at Foursquare. And the Nine Square skills, they translated there very, very well. Uh, to a point where, like, honestly, be because, like, there's a definite lower skill curve for Nine Square, a lot of those Foursquare skills like came and, and really manifested themselves in really impressive ways in Nine Square. And we were so good, my friend um, Sam and then also Aldog from the four player file, uh, that we started this thing called the Eighth Grade Alliance. And what that meant is that if in these Nine Squares, if we were in danger of having like zero um, uh, Eighth Graders in those squares, we'd shout out Eighth Grade Alliance and like, I'm telling you, 20 kids line up uh, from my grade to help take back the entire squares it got to a point honestly i'll take this for right now we'll get a, we'll get a red heart next floor i guarantee it it got to a point though honestly where the teachers had to like say no teaming because a lot of the younger kids were getting pissed off that like once the eighth graders came in they couldn't do shit because like we had played four square for a whole heap and year longer than they were even alive for man we had we had the skills to back it up too so they had to stop us from teaming uh, because we were too fucking strong. We were making some insane time, by the way, on this run. Actually, a little bit nutty. Uh, and I, dude, I gotta say, like, even thinking to, like, prom and homecoming, there will always be a special place in my heart for Nine Square and the eighth grade dances, just because, like, there, there was no, like, dressing up to be done for these. It was just, like, wear jeans and a fucking sweatshirt. Like, there was no pressure to do anything there. It was just, like, you played Foursquare for like two hours, but with like a fucking volleyball in the air. It was it was honestly a a, a more 
all around fun experience than any future dance I would have in high school would be. Because again, I'm not a very like, I don't like to be a social person. Oh, this is going to be huge. Don't crash my game, please. That's all I ask from you. Okay, great. Guppy's Collar is a fantastic find. Painkillers I don't really care for. Everything else down here, it kind of blows. It's kind of trash. I'm just going to leave here, and we'll call it a day from down there. But I had a lot of fun at those, and I think that... Uh, I, I think middle school dances are actually pretty common nowadays. When I was in middle school, um, they weren't really big, because like you thought of a dance as like one of the big boys in high school. But like my cousin down here in Texas now, he well, he had middle school dances. He's a high schooler now, big old boy. But uh, they had middle school dances down here as well. I don't know how similar they were to mine, where it was like a $20 DJ and then like a gym, but I don't know. I think it's really good because it's, it helps with the social aspect of school. Uh, a lot of kids in middle school, as they're kind of struggling to find like their niche or their group, and dances like those can help, like especially like break into new hobbies and, and, and meet new people and things like that. Uh, but high school is kind of, again, where like the big important dances start happening, where like you hear of like homecoming and all these movies and TV shows, like, oh, it's this big thing. In fact, I didn't even know that like the snowball is like Sadie Hawkins dance was a thing until I got to high school because all I had heard about was homecoming, 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 and homecoming. Um, does that do anything as this character? I feel like it doesn't. I don't know why it would, to be honest with you. Also, we're going to have hopefully some good stats in this bloat fight here because this boss is going to be a bit of a bitch. I can use one of my 20,000 bombs I have, though. I do have a lot of bombs. Can you blast me? Use your laser blast. You're not going to laser blast me? Well, you got fucked up, dude. That was a really, really good bloat fight. Devil Deal or Red Heart. Red Heart is perfect. Now we have an even better tier rate, leaving that room. Uh, I'm guessing item room is, like, right to your right? Probably. It is not. You have made a grave mistake. We, it's probably down uh, in the middle of all those rooms in that intersection. But, like, you hear about Homecoming and, and, and Prom. Like, Prom especially. Actually, I feel like Homecoming was more, like... Well, I don't know, because I feel like a lot of the movies that have Homecoming as, like, a, a, a setting are just more memorable than, like, Prom, because Prom is so generic as, like, a, uh, a setting for movies that are, like, set in high school. But uh, I was kind of nervous for high school dances at first, because I was like, man, I want to go just to see what it's like, but I'm not going to like it there. And I was 100% I was right. I, I did go to my freshman year Homecoming with uh, my girlfriend at the time, and I, I thought it was okay, but she was kind of like a party pooper about it. Like, I was at least trying to enjoy myself. She was more like, I don't really want to be here or like try to enjoy this at all, which is fair. If you don't like it, don't pretend to like it. But I was at least trying to find a reason to enjoy it, I guess. Before, huh? Uh, I kind of like our run right now. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I, I really do kind of enjoy this run, so I'm gonna not take the deep four. It could be fun. Uh, but we have a little bit brewing in the old brain. I'd rather just kind of ride this out and see where it goes. But anyways, we stayed for like three hours. And it, it homecoming goes from, um, I think it was like 7 to like 11, something like that. It, it might have been, oh, tainted, I, what's it going to take from us? If I had to guess, I would say it's probably going to take like, blood clot or maybe it would be dark prince's crown for like the inverse of that uh i don't know honestly well i guess like horror babylon and dark prince's crown are the inverse of each other is this just gonna give us like a full health horror of babylon Ooh, dead too um, well let's try it out it could be interesting oh wow that sounds really good okay it could give us special rooms, extra special rooms on the future floors that don't normally have them. That sounds really interesting. This tainted item room mod is really, really robust, man. Uh, we stayed for like three hours. It wasn't like an inconsequential amount of time. We did some dancing, um, sat on the bleachers for a while. Like, that's pretty much it. I mean, those dances, they get sweaty, man. Like, you are out there, like, with a... Th think of yourself um, at one of these dances. You're, you're on the floor. You're, you're, like, there for two hours, like, moving around in a group of, like, 
I don't know, like a hundred other kids, maybe even more, maybe even more than a hundred. I have no idea how big your guys' schools are, but it, it gets really hot and really sweaty in there, like really quickly. I'll take this for now, I guess. Um, and it, it can be kind of like horrible. I mean, I I've seen kids pass out of those, and it's it's no like you know mosh pit, but it definitely it can get a bit a bit rough. You know, I'm not trying to say it's like the hardest thing in the world, but uh, I've I've been to a couple mosh pits at punk concerts when I lived in, in near Milwaukee, and honestly, I they are decently comparable to like dumbasses at a high school dance because they can get just as stupid. But I I don't know, like I didn't really have a great time because it was the person I was with I think wasn't trying to have fun, and what is cursed chalice? Kills all non or enemies and non-final bosses in the room. Gives you broken hearts. <sighs> What's the point? It's just like a free victory. I'd rather just like not do that. This sounds like kind of bad. <laughs> like why would I want to give myself broken hearts to instantly kill a boss when... I can just kill the boss and probably not take damage anyways. I can see the appeal of the item if you have a really bad build, but... you just kind of like... it's what, What's the metaphor for that? Like, you're taking what is already a bad build and actively making it worse by giving yourself permanent broken hearts for a temporary, like, benefit. It doesn't sound like a, like a me thing. Well, it does, but not in this run. It's not a me thing to do. But either way, like, it was fine. And then we had the snowball dance later in that year, which is typically like, ooh, really good. Um, the girls asked the boys kind of thing, and she did not ask me uh, because she didn't want to go. So we just stayed home and like, I don't know, watched a movie. I don't even know what we did. It's like so far out of my mind at this point. I'm like, I'm like, what? Going to be 20 in less than a month? That was when I was like 14. It, it Honestly, it does not even ring a bell. We might have just like ordered a pizza and that was it. But... Uh, next year comes like my sophomore homecoming. I'm so I'm dating the same girl still, but I know she doesn't want to really go that badly because she hated it last time and we skipped snowball. So I'm talking to my the, like the boys that I was mentioning earlier, like Al Dog and Merm, like JT, and we're like we should go as a big group, like just like get like matching like shirts and ties and just go as a big group and be like just like funny with it. So we, we take some, I, I have some pictures that actually maybe I can put up here. I don't know if it has like an address like showing in it though, but if I have the pictures, I'll put it up right now. Um, we did some like classic like photo shoots. We were like, you know, holding weights. We were just trying to be like goofy. And it was really, really fun to like do that, that free dance stuff. Uh, and I actually don't think any of us ended up going to homecoming. I think we just took the pictures and posted them and just didn't go to the dance actually. That, that sounds like me. <laughs> that really does sound like me. Uh, we're not going to use credit card here. We're going to use it on a devil deal where we can get uh, a lot more value out of it. Empress, Chaos card, Hierophant, and Stars. Already seen our special room. And I think credit card is the thing you want to have. But then you have, like, as well, the Reverse Fool. Or Foiled Fool, my bad. Interesting. Um, we can't really take both. I wish we could. I'm gonna take the Forget Me Now effect, because we have that, like, multiple special room generation thing with the, the the globe. So I'm gonna take this instead. We're just gonna go fight our boss while we're still talking here. Making, again, really, really good time on this run. Well, actually, we kind of slowed down a little bit. I guess the, uh, the items on this floor have really, uh, made us think a bit harder about things. But I think we just took pictures and didn't go. Uh... I remember my girlfriend being mad that I didn't ask her to go, but I knew she wouldn't have fun, so I didn't feel, like, super terrible about it. Uh, but that was kind of like... Why am I so trash at this game? That was kind of like the, uh... That was the best dance. The best dance was just not going at all. Was do doing, like, the, the, the pre-dance stuff, going out to eat and, like, taking dumb photos. That was the most fun. And not going to the dance was the most fun dance I had, I think. Well, that might not be true. I, st I still had prom to look forward to in junior year and stuff like that, but we're going to keep going in chronological order. Uh, homecoming, obviously, I just said I didn't go to that uh, my sophomore year. Definitely Polaroid right now, and... Ooh, Red King. Oh, Red King. I, I cannot pass... Red King is so fun. It's special, like, boss trapdoors. It's really... It, it could endlessly loop me if I'm not careful, 
I'm so bad at this video game, but I'm gonna be careful. Trust me. We're gonna walk into here, and then oop, oh, bone tears, Jacob's ladder tears. Oh, that's really. These are all really good. I don't think bone tears and brimstone work, but I know you work, so take this. Yeah, okay, then full card and do your floor over again. It all works out in the end. Um, if the mosaic effect goes away, there we go. Perfect, and keep going on here. Uh, and then this next year in high school, um, first snowball. Uh, a girl did ask me to go, and I went with her. We ended up dating for like a year, and then I went to her, or snowball with her, and then I went to homecoming the next year as well with her, and then we broke up shortly after that. Uh, and those were pretty like... Those were also kind of lame dances, though, because uh, we were kind of, like, in charge of chaperoning her siblings, which was just kind of boring, because, like, number one, our friend groups weren't, like, mixed at all. We were very separate friend groups. And number two, like, I didn't like having to just chaperone, like, freshmen the entire dance. I wanted to at least go and have some fun, but it was, like, whatever. I didn't I didn't really have, like, high expectations, so I was, none of them were really ruined in that regard. Uh, but it was really cool to, like at these dances because we had different friend groups branch out and actually what is this oh it's one of the four extra rooms it, the red rooms this is so crazy hopefully we get like at least one special room somewhere along the line here um but it, this floor does not seem to uh house that for us it looks like Ooh, golden chest for story cube This sounds fun. I'm not going to take Story Cube. Not really in my wheelhouse right now. Uh, but they were the same. There was like, I went I went expecting to not really have fun, but hoping I would, and left with that same impression. So, kind of lame. Uh, now we, we fast forward, because now I'm going to be in junior year at the time. Uh, I skipped Snowball this year. Because, no, did I? I didn't skip Snowball. I did go to Snowball this year. I went with, uh, it's gonna sound like really bad. I went with one of my, my friend's exes because, uh, they had a rough breakup, but all of our friends thought she was in the right about it and still wanted to hang out with her. And so we went to the dance together as, as like platonically, but it did like not really seem that way, I guess, to my, to my friend. Also like reverse stars is huge right now. So that was fun because like, she was from a different state entirely and didn't know, like, anybody there. I got to, like, introduce her to, like, more people from my town. And then that, they, they, she made friends and they hung out afterwards, too. So, like, it was productive. I had a lot of fun at that one, too, because I got to hang out with, like, my friend group exclusively. And that made things a bit more interesting, I guess. Uh, I don't, we can use the, the Ace of Diamonds card. Uh, walk into here. What are with the cards on this runoff? That's really fucking good. Holy shit, our HP took a, a huge turn. Um, but that was a, that was probably one of the better dances I went to. Simply just because, like, the person I was with, it was platonic, and we both were just there to, like, trying to have fun. You know, like, trying to enjoy ourselves, and that made it a little bit better. But uh, next up comes prom, and I went with a friend of mine who we had been friends, like, for the last four years, like, best friends. Uh, and we went to prom together, and it, th that was, I think, out of all the dances, the best one. Just because it, we had we had the same exact friend group, um, we both had the same personality when it came to, like, what we found to be, like, fun or boring or lame, and it's, prom is fun because, like, it's, it happens usually. I skipped a prom. <laughs> I completely forgot I skipped a prom here. Junior year, uh... My sophomore year, sorry, I went to prom with a junior um, who was the same girl I went to snowball and home, the one I had to chaperone her siblings at homecoming for. I went to prom with her. It was awful. It was really, really bad. Not on her fault at all. I'm not trying to like blame it on her, but just like, I, it was a grade I wasn't in, so I knew like nobody. That was why it sucked. Uh, and it was really expensive that year too. So I was kind of like, ugh. Ooh. Uh, you know, I'm going to just not take Inner Child. I'm going to take this. We can take both. I forgot about that. Nice. Uh, but that prom sucked. 
it was really bad. This prom, my junior year, junior year, the year you're supposed to go to prom at, not when you're a, a young and sophomore. That was really fun. Um, great, great time. And I that was definitely the most fun I had at a dance in all of, of high school. Uh, after that, I, where'd my, did I, did I just clear my broken heart there? No, reverse stars does not give you a broken heart, you idiot. Take this, pop it. Wow, rune bag. All right, that's really good. Uh, getting some some planning done here while we're, we're taking a, a minute to get along. Uh, we'll take this instead, sure. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the run so far. I just wanted to make sure we're going to have a guaranteed victory here and not wasting anybody's time. But I only went to one more dance after that. And I went to, it was, it was Snowball my senior year. I skipped homecoming because I had no one to go with and I really... No, that, that was the year I was going to ask that girl with the graffiti. And then she said no and the cops came and like almost arrested me. That, if you don't, if you want to know about that story, go like watch like last week's... I don't know what video it was, but it was one of last week's streak videos. Um, she said no and I was like, well, if I don't have anyone to go with, I'd rather just not go to homecoming at all. That is a fair thought, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but then I decided to go to Snowball because uh, for pretty much one reason. Uh, TG from the four-player file and Jacob from the four-player file as well both had no one to go with Jacob just having a, a recent breakup and they were like pleading with me to go with him because they wanted to have like a trio so we went to like b-dubs beforehand then went to where I used to work took some pictures like like as like a, a group and then went together I left within 30 minutes it was horrid we get to fight the haunt now sick uh, I left only because uh, I went with a, a group, like, Jacob and TG, but they're, they're gonna watch him and hate him for saying this. They're not very fun to go to dances with. Jacob, like, will dance for, like, a minute, then go sit down for, like, half an hour, and TG does not, doesn't like dancing. So, like, it was, like, it wasn't very fun. I, I took some cool pictures. Um, that's really good. And I had, like, fun when I was there, but I kind of realized the longer I stay, the worse it's going to get. So I left. Um, that's like the stories of all my dances, pretty much. If I had to put them in a tier list order, uh, everything aside from junior prom and the one dance I skipped in the sophomore year with my boys, F tier. Prom and the dance I skipped in sophomore year, S tier. That That's my entire like rating system there. Please be special rooms. What's alive? You're invisible. Didn't even see you down there. Damn, no rooms over here. That's very, very sad. But I think everybody should go. You should go to prom. I went twice. I could have gone a third time my senior year. But that was when COVID hit. And, like, I'm already a senior, so why do I care? Uh, but go to prom at least once. Prom, you should go with people you like, first of all. Um, it's honestly more fun to go with friends and, like, a, a, a partner you have. And if you're going to go with somebody individually, like have it be a friend. I mean, it, it's much more fun that way because, like, there's nothing to stress about at, at that point and you're guaranteed to have more fun. And don't be afraid to just, like, spend the money on it because it's expensive. Like, prom tickets at my school were uh, I think it was, like, 80 bucks each and then a tux was, like, 120 bucks to rent one. So it, it's it's pricey. It's really expensive. That's our four rooms right there. So there's going to be no specials, sadly. That kind of blows. Uh, it, it's still like... It's still worth it, though, to go once. I would say going twice, unless you had a really good time, your first time would be kind of overkill. But if you get the chance to go once and you have the money for it, there's no reason not to. The best part of prom, though, 100%, without a doubt, is the after party. I don't know if other schools do this, but our school, like, paid for an after party. I think for the sole reason of preventing kids from having their own with, like, drugs and stuff. So they paid for a special after party every prom. And what they would do, this is very, very fucking cool, by the way, um, is there was a water park uh, in Lake... Oh, I shouldn't say the name of the town. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it, there was a water park, like, like, 20 minutes away from our school. Not even. Um... I thought they gave you a Mama Mega explosion, not an active item charge, you weirdo. And they would rent out the entire water park and buy a bunch of Domino's pizzas. 
and you get to stay there for like three hours after prom and go swimming and shit like that, sit in a hot tub, whatever you want to do. And like when you're done dancing at prom and like eating your fucking like steak and chicken or whatever they're selling you at your high school prom and you want to just relax, it's ideal. It's ideal. And I had a lot of fun just getting with my friends and like just going the lazy river, hanging out and just having a good time. Like it, it was a lot of fun. They, these should not be seen as like, I'm going to be real with you. A lot of the times, the first like person you date in high school, not going to work out permanently. Treat these dances less as like a way to like get with somebody like romantically and more of a way is just like, it's a social event. I, I had a lot of fun when I was going without somebody and just kind of aimlessly like wandering with people. That was a lot more fun. And prom definitely uh, like nailed that in really, really hard. So... I, I would say dances are good. They're just not always going to be for me. But that's that's okay, you know? Not everything has to be. I, not everything is BD1P made, you know? Would I go to like a, if, if I mean, like, I guess the, the out of, you know, high school uh, version of prom is just like going to a club. But like, it's, it's less special, I think, when it, you can go whenever. And the only reason dances are so like, fun uh, is just because like they happen you know maximum at my school three times a year homecoming prom Sadie Hawkins like it, it's the rarity makes them special you're not gonna be able to go to like your school every weekend uh, and go like you know dance to fucking Ed Sheeran it, it's it's rare and it makes it special so I, I think it because it only happens like thrice a year at max anyways there's no reason to not go like tickets to homecoming shouldn't be anything more than like 10 bucks right i mean maybe ours were like 20 i have no idea no it was definitely 10 but it was like it was 10 individually than like 15 for a couple's ticket which by the way is definitely stupid like that's gonna stop people from going alone which is really really lame so it only happens three times a year Whew. Now that's good. That's range and damage though. This is more damage technically. I think that's better close range, but like we get the range and the damage here. Plus we get the eye of the occult. Like I forgot it worked this way. That's actually insane for us. That's actually really, really good. All right, finally found our boss fight here. It should go by pretty fast. We are just going to miss the hush timer. I honestly, I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, no, don't really care. Let's just keep going in. Um, this... We gotta pop our book more. That's what I'm missing out on here. We have Brimstone and, like, uh... What's it called? 4.5 Bolt? That's a really good recipe for getting some nice tick damage off. And if we can pop it, like... I think 15 is the number you need for permanent Brim, like, out of your body. We're never gonna hit 15. Like, our, our tier rate starting is, like, 1... But with two pops, we're only at 1.8. It's still firing really fast. Definitely not even close to soy milk levels. Either way, she's dead. We can go to our cathedral floor after, of course, going into here. And uh, buying inner demons and what is this? This is the Scorched Earth. I know all my modded items, so I'm proud of myself. Going out of the cathedral, Isaac should not be an issue. We can actually finally use uh, Necromantic Charm to get back down to one red heart here and have our bonus um just can't take damage here or like there we go finally um get back to one red heart and get our tears bonus back G give me damage here now we have 4.61 tears oh we also i have berserk i forgot about that uh which why, why is there so much happening? Get out of here. Um, kind of make it harder to survive. Oh, please. Berserk is good for clearing the rooms, though. But now we're going to have a higher tier rate for uh, Brimstone as well as uh, Book of Job or Despair, whatever the hell you want to call it. I Can these familiar... Like, why does every item that spawns, like, friendly enemies have to be so obnoxious? Like, the game should have, like, a hard limit of, like, you can have three friendly enemies at a time because this is kind of ridiculous. Like, start, at least let me bomb my own enemies to death. That's all I really want. Because now we're already at a two tier rate. That's better than the entirety of the mom's heart fight. 
Okay, to be real though, these guys are fucking the hell out of Isaac. They they put him down to like. He's dead. Well, boys, I couldn't have uh, done it without you. Anyways, going on down to our final floor of the run, the chest. We have a Yara rune for it for eight extra items. Looking for big damage. We only have seven damage right now. Oh, I should have waited. Well, it's still double chests, I guess. It would have been even more, though. Baby, useless, 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 and really, really good. Oh, my God. I'm like fucking Dio right now. I've never watched JoJo in my entire life. All I know is he says like useless a lot. Uh, Cause L Dog and Mom watched that show like a ton in high school. Well, I'll take the babies. That's fine. I'm gonna leave you here and hopefully we find our way to to Mr. Blue Baby himself like right away. What is hitting me? I don't even know what the fuck hit me there. We're not gonna die, right? Cause we have like so much HP, but I'd rather not take the damage. If, if I can manage that, please. What What is hitting me? I'm walking into a room and getting hit by something. What? Is it fake damage? One of my enemies, I think, is hitting me. I'm not losing HP. Is, this, is the Savage Timer making me take damage? I'm getting Polaroid as well occasionally from it. I'm getting Polaroid now all the time. What, what is happening? There's a point with modded Isaac where it just becomes like unrecognizable, and I like that about it, but in a lot of cases, I'd rather have it be just like recognizable. Because like when I get hit now, I don't know if it's like an actual hit or like a fake hit. I honestly, I have no idea. Nothing. Oh, there is a mimic door in the red room. This might be an endless loop. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Don't move it. Thank you. Uh, crystal apple. No, I hate that item is so distracting. Um, I'll take essence of Magdalene, I guess. Like, look at this, these enemies. Give me a hard limit I can set. I might have one in the mod config menu, but whenever I'm getting phantom hit right now, it's also spawning even more enemies. There's going to be a point in this run where I will not be able to hit anything because the game will hit everything for me. And I don't want it's ha there we go. We have like 800 incubi. We have about three revenants. We have like six inner demons on the wall. Uh, there's the boss fight at least. Holy fucking Luya. Taking no real damage on the entire floor so far. What's alive, dude? How is anything living here? There we go. Just go in. You, you, the game is lagging so bad. Just go into your boss fight. I don't even know what's happening. Blue Baby is like just about dead already. Uh, you are dead, actually. I'm not going to do Void. The ending animation for Blue Baby took longer than the entire fight. I can't move. I, I literally can't move. There we go. I, dude, I end the run, please. If you enjoy the run of my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.